Hello! Welcome back. More Fire Emblem. Now with me, but with a headache. Good times. Um, oh. The frame rate. Is, is that my software? Or is it the, uh, the game? No, it's just the game. Alright, sorry about that black screen. By the by. It's me resetting the capture card. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Dimitri does have more defense. But there's really no actual reason to have him forward, necessarily. So we're just gonna do this, and then everyone will get slapped by all sorts of stuff, but none of them do any damage, so it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be a lot of people suiciding onto my units. I didn't realize I had Nosferatu equipped. My bad. Probably should have checked that. Uh, why don't you... No, don't send that. Let's just send that back. I wanted to equip it, but I guess it, I forgot you can't do that unless it's your turn. I mean, it doesn't matter. He could still kill stuff with Nosferatu, so... This is all irrelevant. Apparently he's just gonna keep critting, too. Like, just all of the crits. Oh man, a silver sword. We appear to be getting a lot of items dumped onto us, I didn't realize that. Watch and learn. Too weak for this world. Yeah, they're just throwing items at us. I guess that's the whole point of this mission. See you in the eternal. Cause none of them are in the slightest. Was he 32 before? It's not enough to beat her. That was a terrible level, I'll admit. I must leave them well. He must have been 32, and I just didn't realize it. Uh, you need to change your weapons, but I'm also probably just gonna have you run forward, seemingly suicidally, but no one here does any damage. So, slap that on there. Now, I will kill this archer with Dimitri. It's because otherwise he's never gonna die. He's just always gonna be out of range. A blessed bow? Oh, you filthy cheater. Out here using gambits on me that I can't counter. This could turn the tides. This is gonna be a lot of XP XP for me and Dimitri. This just occurred to me. A chest key. I don't need that because Do I need that? I don't know, I'll send that back. I was to say because I can open chests, but I'm not a thief anymore. Another victory. Man, I really wish I had more inventory space, so I didn't have to do that every time I killed something. And now, unfortunately, because the AI is being rude, no other melee can actually get to me. Plus, I'm surrounded. I disposed of doubt long ago. Quite the inconvenience, to say the least. That's your best. I'll destroy you. Eventually, I too will fall. Hey, he has a new battalion, and I didn't realize. That's a very good bow. Restores health every turn. That's pretty good. Hello? His Highness and Professor? We must speak later. 
Why not now? Is that Ash, my I boy? It's been five years, but I never expected the monastery to end up like this. The whole crew's here. Oh, I haven't seen any of you in such a long time. I'm so glad to see you're alive. Is that Annie? We'll help out from here. It is. It's over, thieves. Why? Why are you here? A reasonable question. I'm surrounded, but unless they keep using gambits, they're just going to kill themselves on me anyway. So I'm not really honest. worried. What do you have? You just have an iron bill? Right. In the name of Look at everyone. My duty. All grown up. Ready to go. Picking up armor slayers off the ground. He's not going to be any use because he's too slow. Unfortunately, but I'm your girl. At your service. All right, Mercedes. New and improved Mercedes. There you go. Exact damage. Perfect. Mercedes appears to have lost all of her hair, which is unfortunate because I kind of liked her hair. Not that short hair is bad, mind you. I just, I just really like the fact that she was like 90% hair. Alright, well, uh, we may as well kill somebody. Probably the one in the front. Surprisingly, I can't kill him with... Kill you with that. Sure. Oh, you crit anyway. Another victory. I'm getting absurd amounts of crits. I know it's 30%, but it's still just 30%. That's a lot of crits, all things considered. Let's do this right. Could you stop? Like, I can't kill you if you keep doing gambits. You fucking assholes. I don't actually hit too, unfortunately. This is our chance. You gave it too? Come on, man. I'm tired of your nonsense gambits. I wish I had an AoE combat art, but I don't. I must lead them well. Fight shit in the center, I guess. Sure. I disposed of doubt long. I wonder what triggers everyone else spawning. Maybe it's just like a distance thing, because uh You could get a lot of XP for the other people if it was just like number of turns. Leave all those like super weak people out instead of charging forward like I did. Regardless, she's actually being targeted by somebody. Which is bad because this kills her. Hmm. Well, she'll counter, which might just kill the bandit, so she lives? Well, I mean, if she doesn't, hopefully we've got, uh... I wish she weren't there so I could move further, but... Hopefully we've still got the, uh, rewind time thing. It was the only way. Although, I, they really- I don't know how far back it rewinds. Hey. There is still room. There's still room, but that was pretty good. Oh, she will live. I don't expect forgiveness. 
Good job. She doesn't need healing, but she'll be right. Hey, the rest of the crew. Has become a nest of thieves. And they still have their mounts. Professor, you're alive after all. But first things first, let's defeat these thieves. I'll lend a hand. We'll catch up later. It's quite the outfit he has. We must end this quickly. If you say so. What's going on with them? They doing all right? And they all appear to be exactly the same as before, except she has Lewin equipped for whatever reason. And a training sword in her inventory. Like, why does she have Lewin, but he doesn't have the fucking Lance of Ruin equipped? I don't know, whatever. Well, they have to break these to get in. We may as well use the person that has the least movement to do so. I got an XP for that. What's the plan? Very good. You chill there. Ready when you are. She technically didn't need it to be broken, but... Wow, you don't kill it with the crescent sickle. And it's a double hit, so none of those are going to be any better. Oh, except for the hit rate, I guess. You do Frozen Lance. Look at this fancy outfit. Next try. You can't shake the vision of an ally falling in battle. Oh, there's the chest. I didn't even realize the chest was back there. There's two chests. Is it just those two? There's a third, fourth. Yeah, so there appears to be four chests. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be able to reach that enemy. Never mind. It's my duty. Two XP. I don't know what Hexlock Shield is, but it sounds cool. But also 2 XP. I don't want to earn too much immediate ire because I don't know how scary those dudes are up there. We can't be careless. It's true, we can't. Fight that guy next turn, because he'll be just out of range of hitting us. Which I should really check these things before moving people. My duty is your death. Hello. I don't know why you waved like that, but hello. Yeah, 13 might from that archer is quite a lot. He had no hit rate, but he's also not the only one. Oh come on, man. Really gonna be wasting my time there like that? Openings to the north and south. We'll split into two and tear them apart. Okay. Unfortunately, this dude didn't move. I suspect he will not move unless Back he can get service. to me. That's okay. You can theoretically kill this man. You cannot kill this man. kill that archer. That leaves you open to getting slapped. Let's move our heavy armor guy in front. Maybe we can hit that. No. Alright, well I don't know what to do about the south there, but you guys... So many crits. I was just stronger. We've gotten like 20 crits this level. And he's better at writing now. Hooray! I want you to charge forth over here for me. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, he's behind rubble. That's what's going on there. I'm glad she's just a flying version of the Death Knight now. 
the fuck out of the crescent sickle on her. Uh, I'm tempted to... Honestly, just move him back here? He's gonna get attacked, probably, because we opened up that path. Yeah, he'll be fine. Just move him back there so that he can clear out that backside. Now we only have down here and the center left. down here seems a little unwilling to move unless I give them an opportunity. Which is how you get me killed. No or, not me, but Mercedes specifically no killed. Back now. So much trash. Uh, he doesn't move. Which is good to know. Oh, I thought you could have. I thought I could have filled that square. And I'll just chill next to me, I guess. I shouldn't die here. I have a pretty good dodge chance anyway. No. I think that's everything we can do. I don't know how to get this guy's attention without risking death. So I guess we're just not going to. Another victory. He Obvious. changed his target, but also he ran way the fuck away. I think he changed his target anyway. You fought well. You fought well. Unfortunately, I don't think he has a key, so it's not like he can do anything. What's our objective here, actually? Oh, there's a door there. We don't have the key for that door, I just realized. Shit. But also, defeat the commander. We could we could probably end this right now. You were unprepared. He was a little unprepared. It's also just a bandit, to his credit. But I also want to get as many of these chests as I can. You don't have a key, do you? There was actually an opening in the back, too. I didn't realize that. But I want to open as many of these as we can, so... We're gonna use these two to pull the southern side of things. And unfortunately, they can't move very far. They're fine where they are, I guess. I keep stuff on me. I kept a chest key on me and a door key on him. So we can bring the two of them south. We'll have Ash. Ash is going to take forever to do this, which is unfortunate. We'll have Ash opening all that stuff. Yeah. Is that it? Hey. Hey, guess. I put this to use. What well, that is? Let's try this. I really hate their tendency to use gambits. I understand it, because attacking me kills them, but I wish they would stop. Mercedes is the lower level, so... She can't kill, but if I have any attack, she's definitely going to kill, so... We'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, she does so much more damage. I'm sorry. Look at her being all fancy. 
And she's 30 now, which is good. She got a terrible level, but she is there's another dorky actually. But she did get 30. Alright, Ash. It's going to take you a very long amount of time to do so. Start working on this stuff for me. No one else technically has to move anywhere. But we'll move Felix down there to crush some of these uh, gates for me. Rubble, not gates. I, I don't know what I want her doing. She's just gonna chill, I guess. Uh, Sylvain's just gonna tank shit. I guess that's really all we can do here. He's very good at it, conveniently, and the AI seems willing to just sit there and do that forever. Now you... There's zero way for Mercedes to get up here, right? She can assist, but you know. Look at the range on that shit, man. And this is the AoE heal, right? Yeah. That's a lot of healing. Well, neither one of them can efficiently kill this person, so... No hesitation. We'll just take myself and eviscerate them. Going to plan. Which is my favorite I'm activity. Jump me. And I'm the one with the chest key, so... And because I'm not a thief anymore, I am just an enlightened one. I can't just open chests, right? Like, for free. I really wish... I really wish he could, like, pick a lock and then move. Well, I guess he has to take a step to pick it, but... It's gonna be one more turn to get that. It's probably more efficient to go around this door. To grab this, which is gonna be a lot of turns. I'm grabbing that one, so a few turns for that. Apologies for all this whole lot of nothing that's happening, but Won't work. if they're gonna put four chests on a map, I'd like to open them if it's, you know, not inconvenient to do so. I'll have him go open the door, because why not? Yeah, he, can't. he can't open it. A silver lance! We have all of this gear that I'm probably never going to use for anything, but it is there. Here's the thing. By opening this door, we could use Sylvain to break this wall. Excuse me, I started yawning. By opening this door, we have to stop here and then go through. So it saves us two tiles. Does it cost us more than two tiles to stop there? I don't know. We're about to find out, I suppose. Is that it? That poor man, he's just trying to do his job, eh? Axe of Ukonvasara. That's a fucking hell of an axe. Sacred weapon. Crest of Glushish. Restores HP every turn increased with crest. Who has that crest? I don't remember. I forget whose house that is. Uh, I don't technically don't have any axe users anyway. 
Yeah, see, here's the thing. Opening that, that door actually doesn't save me anything, so... Well, but there are bushes. Let's try it. I don't think it saves me anything, but it, he's not going to go through bushes, so... Move back over here so he keeps attacking him. Actually, he's going to change target to you. That's fine. It's not going to do any damage to you, either. Never mind, he's going to keep attacking Sylvain, despite what it said about him attacking... What's his name? Gilbert? Alright, yeah, he can... <laughs> Saves a lot of time, because he doesn't have to go through the bushes. I think he would have ended up... Well, maybe not a lot of time. He would have ended up one tile back. I think he would have had to stop here. Either there or on that plane. But either way... Open that door. There you go. Keep her out of harm's way. Is that it? At least until I'm ready to, you know, rush people in here. She can stay safe. That's all we do. Yeah, this. Good turn. 10 out of 10 turns going off here. Imagine being this bandit. Imagine being the commander standing next to that bandit as he fails to do anything at all. Cursed sword. Inflicts 5 damage on its wielder after combat in exchange for its high critical hit rate. That's a really good sword, minus the fact that it kills you. But that is a very good sword. Alright. Not worried about the commander, dude. I just want to kill the archer. All talk and no action. Although the commander will end up killing himself on Dimitri in a second. Anyway, I wanted to get some XP for her. Which, unless she crits, that's a terrible crit rate. She won't no, kill him. I'm not the one you want. Uh, I guess I've got no choice. <laughs> you didn't hold on to that very long. Hey, she did level off it. Leave it to me. And now this dude is going to die. I could kill him. Instead of, uh, Dimitri. There's really no benefit to that, I suppose. But whatever. You know, maybe I don't want Dimitri crushing that man's face with his bare hands. There is still room for improvement. Where's my, like, pog... I mean, that's still a good level, but where's my pog levels at? Hello? It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? Where exactly do you guys think you're going? You didn't plan on letting him get away, did you? Eh, maybe. He can't get past me, right? Like for instance. I mean, I could also just straight kill him right here. But we can just block him. And then he'll kill himself, so it's kind of null and void, but... I aim for greatness. Get a level out of it, anyway. For now. Evasion ring. Ah, but wait. He can pass through, and he's opting to fight her, which is also going to kill him. Um... Why can he attack her? 
Why, in fact, why can he run through us? Oh. Well, he's going to kill himself on her. I oh, know he's going to gambit her. Never mind. Which is rather rude. You have no real reason to move. Uh. That's fine. I want to get the item from the other dude too, since we're here. You should yield me a tidy profit. Yeah. This is better work. I'd like to know how that doesn't get dodged. Is that it? Don't bother haunting me. Don't bother haunting me. I just a bully. I mean, it's more money, but... Alright. Now, he's going to opt to kill her, if physically possible. So we'll do this. For style points, you know. Plus he gets a level out of it, which is very convenient. It's a terrible level, but it is a level. We did open everything, yeah, okay. I want to see Fortify. It's only ever going to heal one person right now, but... It does heal herself as well. That's nice. Well, Ingrid can kill this man. Of the options that can kill him. Because I don't think you can open the door. No. Who's that has the door key? Oh, whatever. Of the options that can kill this person, Sylvain's actually missing a level on Ingrid. But Ingrid can't move, right? Eighty-three percent. So let's go with a ninety-six? Sure. Oh, he has vantage. Oh well. Doesn't really matter, but... Speed ring. Just increase the speed by two. That's pretty good, actually. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Dot, dot, dot. We did it, team. It took 15 turns because we stood there and did nothing for ages. A hey, motivation. Is that still even a relevant thing? Am I, do I still teach? I don't, we don't, we don't have anything. I guess we're going to the monastery. It, certainly it still exists. Your Highness, Professor, I'm so glad you're both safe. Hello. Why are you here? Did you forget? We all made a promise on this very day five years ago. Dimitri, weren't you the one who asked that we all meet up here? Don't be silly. Of course you remember our promise. That's why you and the Professor are here, right? Your Highness, I have been following news of your whereabouts for a while now. I am relieved to have finally found you. Do not call me that. I am not a prince, but a walking corpse. That is what we all believed, but it is not so. I can see with my own eyes that you are alive, Your Highness. But the jail cells in Ferdiat are as solid as they come. How did you manage to... To do? I did notice that... Well, I mean, he's gone for me, but... The dude didn't actually show up. I wonder if he doesn't show up at all he's here. Dead. Yep, there you go. He died in my place. I see. We will be sure to honor his loyalty, Your Highness. As for the state of the kingdom, the lords from the western regions have declared their fealty to the Empire, starting with House Roe. Cornelia's band of traitors now refers to kingdom territory as the Fargus Dukedom. 
They've made Ferdiad their stronghold as they continue to invade the eastern region. There is much to tell you. I will explain everything in time. Well, it's not like all of the Kingdom's lords have sided with the Empire. There are plenty of houses, like mine and Felix's, that remain stubbornly opposed. Your Highness, please allow us to take up arms at your side once more. What we need more than anything isn't soldiers, money, or supplies. We need the legitimate heir of Fargus to overthrow the Empire and reclaim the Kingdom. Such is your duty. It is yours alone to bear, and well worth fighting for. Only you can gather our troops and lead us back into the light. I see. So, you all agree that we must fight back. And you see how that woman, how the Empire cannot be forgiven. That we must wipe them all out until not a single one of them remains. Wipe them all out? Um, I don't think any of us here are suggesting anything that extreme. <sighs> Professor, there is something I would like to ask you. Please, join me inside the monastery. No questions. I didn't, I didn't start the question part of this discussion. To think you survived under all that rubble for the past five years. I suppose stranger things have happened, odd as that is to admit. There is still much I would like to ask you, but I think that's enough for now. On that day five years ago, during the battle with the Imperial Army, Lady Rhea went missing. Since then, the Knights of Seros have continued searching for her, and for you. I hear they have yet to find any promising leads. As the Empire has yet to release a statement, it's hard to imagine that she has perished. And yet... No. Never mind. Once news of your survival gets out, everyone will flock back to the monastery. After that battle, a certain... incident took place in Ferdiad. Rufus, who was serving as King Regent, was murdered. I was once a knight in service of the royal family. I resigned from the Knights of Seros and returned to serve the kingdom. However... This is madness. You truly claim that His Highness is the one who killed Rufus? Oh, but it's true. The only one who could slip past the bodyguards and kill so efficiently is the young prince. You can't deny Man, it. Man, look at her. She looks Rufus trustworthy. Is Dimitri's uncle. His Highness is incapable of such an atrocious crime as murdering his own blood. Look at her face. Oh, very trustworthy. They were never very close, were they? It's a well-known fact among former retainers. There are even rumors that Rufus was originally involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Perhaps His Highness believed those rumors and murdered Rufus in a fit of rage. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid none of that matters now. Cornelia... Do not tell me that you... The decision has been made. His Highness will pay for his crime with his head. His sentence will be carried out the day after tomorrow. On that day, the royal bloodline will come to an end. All you have left to do is sit back and watch, you senile old fool. Watch as the kingdom you love falls to ashes. It was soon after announced that his sentence had been carried out. With His Highness's death, the royal bloodline of House Blathed was erased from this world. True to her word, all we could do was watch as she tore the kingdom apart before our eyes. Since the execution and the prince's corpse were concealed from the public, there have always been those who believed His Highness was still alive. As for myself, I only began to hope three years ago when I chanced upon some compelling rumors. An Imperial platoon attacked without warning. Incident after incident of Imperial generals being slaughtered in Kingdom territory. It is said that each died in such a brutal, gruesome way that... it is hard to imagine they were killed by human hands. 
I followed the rumors to location after location. Eventually, I had seen enough. I knew the rumors were true. Finally, after a half decade of torment, it happened. I found him. Uh, I fear his deep hatred and the weight of his solitude have consumed him for far too long. We must bring him back from the edge on which he stands. To that end, I must speak with his highness. I imagine it will not be a quick or easy conversation. I pray that he is of a mind to speak of such things. I am certain that my words will... Uh, never mind. What must be done, must be done. I would wager that you are weary after the day's events. Perhaps you should take this opportunity to get some rest. Everyone always tells me to sleep. I got things to do, sleeps for the week, etc, etc. Is my fan on? It is. Why is it so god-awful hot? Part 2. Azure Moon. Guardian Moon. The Delusional Prince. Prince Dimitri and the remnants of the royal army join with the remaining Knights of Saros to form a revitalized kingdom army. Using Garrig Mach as their base of operations, they rise to action against the Empire. I wonder if the monastery looks the same, if we even get to wander around it like before. We're going through chapters a lot quicker than the first part of the game, at least. Mostly, you know, because the whole not wandering around the monastery thing. Oh, calendar. Each unit has grown over the past five years. Check their classes and weapons. Okay. If you say so, game. You. So you were alive after all. Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Gilbert told us everything. We are at your disposal. Does my heart well to see that all of you are safe. Now that we have all gathered, let's discuss our next course of action. We have two objectives. To overthrow the Empire and to rescue Rhea. I have no objection to joining forces with you. After all, our interests are aligned. Nothing could be more reassuring than securing the cooperation of the Knights of Seros. The Archbishop entrusted all of her affairs to you. From now on, I shall comply with your wishes. We'll make Garrick Mok our base, and prepare to make our stand against the Empire. There is a fair amount of damage, but we will at least have shelter from the wind and rain. Garrick Mok may be a strategic location, but it's too far from the front lines to be worthy of notice at the moment. This area is inconvenient as far as transport time is concerned, so it's of little importance to their war effort. Even so, nothing slips past the Emperor. It is safe to assume she at least has this place under surveillance. Professor, what do you think about making this place our base? What? <laughs> Where else would we go? It's not like we have another option. Gathering resources is going to be difficult. It's not wrong. Yes, that is a valid concern. Fortunately, there are still villages and hamlets nearby. And though I wouldn't call them abundant, we have war funds as well. What do you think, Your Highness? Do as you please. Hey, don't act like this doesn't concern you. We finally reunited after all this time. We've got to work together. She's right. In fact, why don't we all join forces and clean this place up a bit? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And it'll give us time to reminisce about all the good old days at the Academy. I can't wait. You cleaning? How carefree of you. It may sound trivial, but, well, I think it's a good idea. I understand feeling impatient, Your Highness, but patience is key at a time like this. If we fix up our base, it will improve morale, which will be sorely needed as we... Fools. 
You know, I, I used to like Dimitri, but now he's a bit of an asshole. And by a bit, I mean he's just an Please asshole. Calm yourself, your highness. We are not your enemies. My enemies say the same. What happened to him? It's like he's a completely different person. I feel so bad for him. Would it help if I brewed him a nice pot of tea? I cannot claim to understand how he feels. However, the way he's behaving, it's as though he's being haunted by some unseen force. As am I. We're back to the old calendar with the teaching. It's Ingrid's birthday. Happy birthday. This seems like a terrible time. But you know. There you go. Have Thank some lavender. You me. You're welcome. Thank you. What do we what do we talk about now? We're at war. No one's here. Well, I guess the class is still here. Mm, it's a bit hot. As T is want to be. Hmm? Fashion. The last battle. Wow. Yes. Equipment, romantic, capable comrades. Wow. I was leaning towards comrades a yes. bit. Classes you might enjoy or strange fish in the pond. I'm gonna go with classes. Yes. There you go. Clap. When did you start sword training? I was five when I began. Considering I don't know how old I am. Nod, chat, praise. Chat? A <laughs> hey, perfect tea time. Still got us in it. Still still got it in us after all these years. We don't have English. We got the rest. Hello. What? Is there something on my face? How relaxing. I was hoping we'd get like info about the new armor or something, but Strength and stamina are necessary for fighting on horseback, as is footwork. Is it footwork is necessary? I mean sure, fair enough. Thank you for the I don't know anything about I horse had riding. Such a great time. Thanks for joining me. We didn't get any charisma. Feels bad. Do we go? Is it the same pattern as the first half of the game? Master Seal. Yeah, it's, it's the same pattern as the first half. I th thought that was going to be different, but it's not. Um, who can do Master? Dimitri can't because he doesn't have the stats for it. Ash cannot. Sylvain? She can. She's not gonna pass. 48. Oof. Maybe Ingrid? Oh, Ingrid can actually pass. Only that she can become a Falcon Knight. Which does what for her? Gives her more void and just more stats in general. Which is good. Easy 100%, let's go. Our first master class. Very similar to what she already was, but I that's okay. Alright, pretty sure that's all we had. None of the other 30s have the uh, stats required for these. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It wants me to... I need to do inventory, too. Oh, Such a mess. should look to what the hex lock thing even did but that's okay we'll look at it in a moment um i don't know why she actually had a training sword by the way it's 
So I think Dimitri's the only one who had a class change. Everyone else appears to still be the same. I kind of wish Dimitri hadn't had a class change, but... Royal Lineage Plus. Avoid plus 20 when unit at full health? Holy shit. And he gets more experience. Oh, everything's plus now, isn't it? Oh no, just me and him. Yeah, I guess just me and him, never mind. Wait, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is different, isn't it? When healing an ally with white magic unit recovers the same amount of HP. I think that's new. This one also might be new. That's all the new stuff. Alright, well... Um, what about, like, abilities or combat arts for this man? Oh, and someone else got something, didn't they? You. Aegis, what is this? Chance to reduce bow and magic damage. You know, we could put that in instead of, uh, sword breaking. Why not? Sword avoid plus 20. You don't use swords. It's fine. Falcon Knight, you're fine. He has rally defense, which is pretty nice. Alright, well. Got so, a bunch of support scenes to go through, too. Well, again, we're going to uh, explore, so we're going to get more support scenes, so I'm probably just going to do the explore and then have the support scenes as like a separate video again. Marketplace. Not the Blacksmith the Battalion. Because I want to just do that real quick. To figure out what the fuck we're doing with all of our gear and crap. Alright, well, let us explore. There's a sword tournament. This seems like a strange thing to be going on right now. It's like the game doesn't even care. Uh, I guess we're doing this support scene immediately because it's right here. What if I just say no to this? I just straight up disappeared. Alright, other people that we haven't seen are going to be changed too. So it's just my class that's here? Yeah. My class Gilbert said it. My roster, I should say, is the only thing here. Wait, I can go on the third floor. And she's up there. It's a nice icon. Alright, well. Let's see what everyone looks like. Cats are still here. Good to know. Really? She's locked in her room, so who knows what she actually looks like. Come out of your room, Bernie. <sighs> At last, I return to my domain. My lonely paradise. My realm of exquisite solitude. Are you okay? <laughs> huh? Professor? Is that, um, is that you? Hello. You, um, you didn't hear that just now, did you? Hear what? Right. You didn't? Well, I'm good. Oh, what are you talking about? Advanced drills. What? The students can teach me? Also, I guess if you don't recruit anyone in part one, then they're just fucking gone for part two. Hmm. It seems like. We could still garden though, don't worry. The greenhouse keeper's still doing their job. I'm <laughs> slightly confused about the fact that it really basically nothing has changed. But whatever. care the cultivation on that stuff got all these quests to do 
There's surprisingly items left around. It's not going to be any lost items, I'm sure. Although now that everyone's gone, I guess uh, many of these lost items are actually worthless now. Do you have time for a Catch the big one. It's like in the pond now? The pond doesn't look any different. Sure, just talk to Ingrid. Wonder if we could do it from here. Does it still show up? Yeah. And it just turned into a normal one, so I guess we could just do it from that menu if I do that. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. I almost died as well in the battle five years ago, but I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. Even if the Death Knight shows up, I'll be sure to... Well, for now I'll keep training so I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. I'm not sure you ever will be able to, but I appreciate the thoughts. Excuse me, I'd like to steal your cabbage. Never mind, that's apparently an onion. Could have fooled me. So much just trash around. People need to clean up. A remnant. What do you mean by remnant? But sure. The map will probably mark it for me anyway, yep. So it doesn't really matter. Hello, Ash. Is, is to do really gone? I mean, I There's killed so him in the story anyway. To say to him. He was always so tender with the flowers in the greenhouse. I wonder how they're doing. I guess my students can just teach me now. I don't know what denotes what they're allowed to teach, but that's actually pretty good. So many quests. It's almost like I've been gone for a while. I need a favor. Skilled soldiers, persuade them to join you. Sure. Hey, I could use a hand. Information about pirates, that's a battle. You get pirates and rogues. Yetis. But that's a battle. At least one of those. Hello. I finally managed to meet up with everyone again, but they're all so gloomy. But she sounds exactly the same. Care to join me for a cup of tea? We could invite the others and the soldiers. I like tea. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, there probably isn't time to bake any treats, though. Oh, I should invite Dimitri to come along as well. Though I don't suppose he'll want to join in. Probably not, no. I wonder if it's based on their class. Or their uh, goals. Although I'm pretty sure I changed basically everyone to authority, didn't I? Maybe not. I don't know. But having my students able to teach me basically means I can learn everything. Which is nice. You probably don't have time to waste on cleaning. Maybe I wasn't taking the situation seriously enough. After all, the Imperial Army could be showing up at any time. I was just so happy to see you again. And everyone else too. Maybe I got carried away. Oh, really? <laughs> That's so nice to hear. She teaches me X. Good. Seems like a good weapon type for her. I mean, it, it doesn't appear to like anything has visibly changed. Unless I've forgotten about small details, which is a possibility, but... If I can just say no to these things and they turn into regular ones, is there a downside to having done that? There's only three. Hey. I already did angry. Hey, professor, it's mm -hmm. been a while. It's really good to see you again. An awful lot has happened in these past five years. There were so many times I wished you were around. I'm glad you're back. Your skills are worth more than a whole army. I don't know about that. But thanks. Appreciate it. I'm just gonna keep saying no 
do all of these, so it's like it's not a good time to talk to me. That way they just go to the menu. Okay. That way we can do them all together. Professor. Certainly there's not a downside to doing that. That would be very silly of the game. I'm glad my students still use my classroom instead of the others. Or literally anywhere else. These past five years, many kingdom houses have become vassals of the Empire. The major houses of Fraldarius, Gautier, Karen, and my own family Galatea remain loyal. But the lords of the minor domains in the West have almost entirely defected. After all the royal family has done for them, they respond with betrayal, and to think they have the gall to call themselves nobles. But we still have His Highness, and you, Professor. I'm sure we can take back the kingdom's lands. Well, they're minor lords. I really can't blame them. They're, uh... They probably don't really have the power to say no. All things considered. Look at this filthy, contaminated classroom. She's been in here, etc, etc. Time to watch my frame rate drop to nothing. Let's go. No. Alright, maybe not. Umbral Steel. This two Dorothy is talking to each other in completely different outfits. Good. Silver Lance Plus and Boot Steel. No one's up in the training area. There's very few people to talk to now. So I suppose that does speed it up. During his search for her grace, the Archbishop, Seteth has visited churches all across the land. It served to demonstrate to the devout across Fodland that the Church of Seros is still going strong. As a result, the faithful are not currently in a state of chaos. This sounds good. Gotta make sure we tag all the uh, chat things too. Professor, I am so glad you were unharmed. No matter the path you walk, I will be with you every step of the way. Anything you ask of me, I shall see it through. You saved my life, and I am in your debt. When did I save her life, exactly? I don't know what we need to spend During our points on. Festival, the leaders it's been, it's been of the five years. territories were supposed to gather together and pledge perpetual peace. But now that hope has been dashed, thanks to the Emperor's actions. The Empress. Alliance is also divided on the subject of the Empire. So, internal conflicts are a regular occurrence. Okay. Fair enough, really. Hello there. I'm curious to know how Ned is doing. Not right now. Just wanted to trigger the thing and hope that there's no downside to having done this. I run really fast. Hello, Ash. No. Goodbye, Ash. And now we fast travel, because I didn't want to run all the way back up. Hello? Night? Let's see. It seems that in the last five years, the monks here have left this place for the town below. However, once they learn of our return, perhaps they'll come back. I hope the monastery can return to normal someday. It will, because that's how this video game works. Oh. Well, that's different, isn't it? You got any notes for me? Thought being a noble meant ha being, having, sorry, having some sway in life. I thought if I told people I wanted to stay locked up in my room, they'd leave me be. I don't know. Sure, this one. Perhaps they'll like that. There you go. Just want to be left alone. Hey. Hello. I have a request concerning that creature. I can hardly look at the thing in the state it's in. Do something about it. What do you want me to do? Please do. We tracked the boar for five years. I thought he was dead. In the state he's in, he might as well be. He's gotten better at killing people. And in exchange, surrendered what little humanity he had. 
Hello, Dimitri. I'm sure you'll love talking to me. Yep. Pretty good. I was about to ask where all that shit came from, but, uh... Yeah, there's a... Big hole in the roof. Rip roof. 1800, we're gonna get, what, like, a couple hundred from this quest, which is not enough for that XP bonus. Soon. Unfortunately. Oh, there was someone at the cemetery. I was about to teleport, but... God damn it. I didn't realize there was someone at the cemetery that I could have run to instead of TPing up here. It's not a big deal, but you know, my speed run. Okay, I'm thinking. You're thinking? What you thinking? In the alliance, the lords have been at odds, so peace and prosperity have declined there as well. In particular, bandits have been appearing in large numbers near the great bridge of Murden. Mirrored. Rumor has it that the Domain's Lord, someone by the name of Acheron, is a completely ineffectual leader. Mirrored on the Mirrodin Bridge. Alright. Now we go up. Which contains Seneth and Gilbert and nobody else. Which is fair. Everyone else is gone, but you know, you guys could like congregate a little bit closer to each other. That'd be pretty good. Five long years I've searched for you and the Archbishop. It is a pleasure to see you again. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on. But please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. Thank you. I know the battles ahead will be dire, but we will support you with all our strength. Thanks, bro. Five long oh, he's got advanced drills, too. Which... Appear to be no different from his regular drills, although actually he probably has more listed there to account for other teachers being missing. In fact, these two might end up just covering everything between them. Ah, this is like the council room, I see. We have given proper burial to the Imperial soldiers killed in the monastery. The ones who were sent to investigate the thieves. Already, rumors spread that they were utterly annihilated. So regardless of whether there are spies observing us, the Imperial Army will know of this soon enough. Your Highness. Dimitri, how could you be so reckless? Dimitri must kill. Request. Supply room. Is this, is this a quest I can do here? Nothing's lit up, so probably not. Owl feather. Yay! I have... Is that literally all that's in here? Alright. Just teleport up. Don't feel like running to the staircase. Leave me alone. Don't bully me. What's over here? A bed. Presumably Rhea's room. Awkward. Yeah? What are you looking at? Professor! Oh my, it's so good to see you. These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. It's incredible to see you again after five years. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. What do you teach? Nothing but reason. All right. Fair. I think that's everyone talked to. Yeah. Turn this quest in real quick, like, and in a hurry. And then we gotta figure out what we're spending our points on. This dude, this one quest wants us to fish, but the lake doesn't look any different. Oh, good. Thanks. So I'm wondering if it is now. We have 500, by the way. It's still enough to buy it, but. Or if, uh. 
Or if I just have to wait. But there's no time limit on this. So I guess not doing it now isn't going to matter? I don't think I will ever get used to the fact of A and B being flipped like that. Too bad I didn't spend all my time playing uh, Japanese PS2 games where the accept was circle instead of cross. I've got morale on heels today. Alright, well everyone is exactly the same morale, which isn't full. But I don't think I want to spend... I don't want to spend activity points on meals. Considering we're so close to full on everyone, I could just give everyone a gift. Might be a good idea. Now everyone can train me, but I can't recruit anymore. So really I should just focus on skills, right? Maybe? I don't know, actually. What am I going to make myself? I should probably find out. Or we're just gonna stay enlightened one. We may just stay enlightened one. What? No, I wanted... I wanted to see the classes, but whatever. I guess we can't. But if we don't train, what do we do? Eat, I guess, but I don't need to eat, so I guess we do a little bit of training. Mac or rank this up, we may as well. There is still more to Since we almost had it ranked up, I figured we may as well. Uh axes. How about no. Who would I want to go be trained by? Sylvain. Probably teaches cavalry and spears. Hey, hey. Paper and off. I'm glad you're back. And axes, apparently. Let's get the cavalry going. Perchance. Bernie's probably bows in cavalry. Bows and spears, turns out. We'll rank bows up, because why not? We should also probably be giving gifts to people while we're running around. Thank you. It's occurred to me. If we're gonna run around anyway, we may as well max out their motivation. Could have done this before, but I should really check what their motivation is at the start of an exploration. Uh, sure, you like flowers. Everyone likes flowers. Universal symbol of happy. No, not that. May as well max everyone. Get better, uh, training, teaching, or whatever. I'm glad you're back. Thanks. Flowers are universal. Very convenient. Uh, someone's in class. Gotta go this way. Would have saved a lot of time. If I just did this to begin with. That was my song. Did you like it? It would also be better if you could just skip the dialogue a lot faster, but that's, that's whatever, you know? Have a carnation. Thank you very much. I mean, really, I should also, instead of just doing gifts, I should do the lost items, but that takes uh, a long time. It takes more time than I want to spend on it right now while I'm recording. I can always just do that when I'm not recording at some point. Which probably should be soon. Perhaps next exploration. You think their motivation will be maxed, considering, you know, I'm back. 
Hey, what up? It's me, etc. But they don't seem to care. Can I give Dimitri an item? No, he doesn't give a shit about anything. He's gotten better. Oops. Actually, yes. Slightly increase my swordsmanship, my friend. Let's very much have a daffodil. All right. I don't think there's a person in this game that doesn't like flowers. Which is good. Because I can grow flowers. I can't grow ancient coins. You can also teach me sword. Also teach me authority. Go to sword. Five the church of And you too may have a pitcher plant. I, I really don't think pitcher plants make for very good gifts, but people are gobbling them up. Really? Not the best word to describe that situation, but it's fun. Hello, Gilbert. We have given already, so regard your house. You do. Right, you also have cavalry. Which I don't know if... Thanks. Still don't know if I can even actually... If I should even change classes. I don't know that I should. So I don't think having writing skills is useful. It makes me a better teacher, I guess. Because if my skill is high enough, then I give bonus XP when I'm teaching. I suppose there is that. And we've still got two activity points. So we can do... we could cook and we can sing. Both of these seem like optimal things. I guess I could have saved some gifts if I was going to do singing anyway, but... It's fun. Singing is so much fun. I'll keep my voice down. She almost ranked up her thing-a-ding. And now we cook. Cooking is important. Everyone needs to eat. Can't march on an empty stomach, etc, etc. Hello, head to chef. Probably still can't cook the best meals. Let's get Bernie in here. No. Let's do immortality stew. A little bit more survivor. Sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. Hmm. A little more secret spice and hey, no peeking. Hooray. Ding dong. So everyone should have max morale now. Just checking. Make sure I had the right person with the right name. Everyone's been talked to. Everyone should have max morale. We've used all our points. Except Dimitri. Dimitri's morale isn't maxed because he fucking doesn't want to speak to me. I guess that's it. We could fish. For that quest. What is this other quest? Also, I have four quests. That's a battle one. This might also be a battle one. That's fishing, and this is something. Turn up and two fish. Two silver fish. Fair enough. Alright, we're gonna, uh... We're gonna do supports. The rest of this video is going to be supports. If that's not your thing, you can skip the rest of this video. Because it's probably going to be a while. If it is your thing, enjoy. Finally, I notched a win against you. True, it was a narrow victory. 
When we spar, I feel like I'm revisiting my past. It's like training with my brother. He always won, always, and died before I could win a single bout. From the first time I held a sword, all I wanted was to surpass him. And that's what drove me to become so strong. Perhaps it's absurd to say such a thing, but I've spent all these years training for a duel with a corpse. Yes, I suppose I did. I can never again spar with my brother, not unless he climbs out of his grave. Still, I continue my endless pursuit of strength. Maybe because I have a new opponent to measure myself against. You, obviously. I beat you this time, but when we next cross swords, who knows what might happen. It was a close match, not a crushing victory. I know that I can do better. I will surpass you in strength, and then I'll become stronger still. <laughs> Just what I was hoping you'd say. Anyway, thank you for helping me find an answer to the question you asked all those years ago. I legitimately don't remember the question that was asked, so, uh... Neat for finding an answer, I guess. Oh, hey, Professor. Actually, I ran into that thief while I was shopping just now. Maybe you don't remember. It's been quite a while. The man who stole the book from that market stall. I saw him on the street with his kid. They were both so grateful. It's a really nice feeling. Yeah, but... Uh, it did seem like they were still having trouble getting by. I guess what you said to me back then was right. My actions didn't really solve the problem. I can't help everyone no matter how much I try. If I had the money or power, maybe. But I don't. You know, a long time ago, Leonardo said nearly the same thing to me. I think it was when I tried to look after the horses all on my own. <laughs> I really messed that up. He said, You're not quite ready for this yet, but there's no need to rush. I know I can't help very many people right now, but I think doing what I can for those I see in front of me is still worthwhile. I have to believe that, at least. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring to hear. What about you, Professor? Has anything been troubling you lately? I'd be happy to help, as long as it's not looking after horses. <laughs> you might not want to trust me with that. I've been trusting you with that for so long, Ash. What do you mean? Also, I have a headache. But I don't think you can help that. I genuinely enjoy helping people. It's a great feeling making someone smile. I agree so with this, by the way. anything I can do for you. I want to do it, because I care about you. You think so? It's just what anyone would do, really. So what'll it be? How can I help? Of course! I'd be glad to cook with you. I just picked that because I know we've, he's cooked before. Man, he's going to take so long. We're not even on S's. There's so many people that aren't even on A's. I'm falling behind. I don't think I'm actually falling behind. Got like another 20 hours probably. Oh, hi, Professor. Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? Well, I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just, now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Please, you have to help me. What should I do? 
big on naps. Well, not right now. I couldn't calm down enough to fall asleep. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh! You're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. I'm at my wit's end. She's big on sweets. She's also big on tea, isn't she? I'd go with tea. I'm a big tea fan myself. Sweets don't really relax me. Got it. I'll try that right now. Mm, this candy is so sweet and delicious, and it goes so she did well both. with piping hot tea. Oh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but... Oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. You take the hot water, put it in container, you take your tea, you put your tea in the container. You let it sit for a couple minutes, you give it a stir, you take the tea out, and there you go. Clap. Oh, Complicated, uh, I know. Sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, why is it so difficult to not do my best? I try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. Professor? You're right. Doing nothing is just not my style. To be myself, I've got to do my best every day. Okay. Then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea. You will, won't you? Please. Oh, and also, well, thank you. You've listened to me and helped me face my troubles. <laughs> now I feel like I can talk to you about anything. Honestly, I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. <laughs> Forever tea. It's like one of those cups that never runs out. S. How did, why is S glowing? Why is it just pure glowing too? Did we just go straight from A to S? What? What, what happened? Question mark. Apologies for bothering you so late. I just really wanted to speak with you. Thank you. You see, I've been feeling conflicted about my future. It may seem petty to worry about such things in the middle of a war like this. This isn't something I open up about with many people. Feeling such a sense of inner turmoil while a war rages on and others are fighting with all they have, well, it feels a little selfish. The truth is, I've wanted to be a knight ever since I was a small child. Not just any knight, like one you might find serving within the castle guard, but a true knight, one serving a master. However, my father has always had different plans for me. He wants me to marry for the benefit of the Galatea family. Defying my father feels wrong. I've seen how he struggled over the years. His burden has always been far greater than any I've had to bear myself. While he fed me extravagant meals, he subsisted on meager portions and watered down soups. He never once complained, even though he must have been starving. Knowing his sacrifices, I've never been able to tell him of my dream of becoming a knight. Now that this war has begun, my father has allowed me to fight for my homeland. But even if I do become a knight, I feel an unease deep within me. I fear I will never escape this guilt I carry, that I have shunned my duty as a noble. To follow both my dream and my duty? I... I had never considered that as an option. Perhaps there is a way. <laughs> Even with the academy days long behind us, 
you're still a professor through and through, always listening to others' troubles and offering up your wisdom. I really am grateful for all that you do for us, Professor. I hope you'll always be here as a guide to everyone. I know I myself would appreciate that deeply. Well, we have... What is this? Eight, probably? Eight more to go? You know, why do they... Why do some people... Why don't they just go to S? Instead of just having little chevrons over stuff. Like, instead of just having two A's, why not just go AS? I don't know. There's probably a reason for that. Here you are. Oh! Were you looking for me, Felix? You were injured in the last battle. Are you okay? I'm fine now. Thank you for your concern. You really are troublesome. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to get in your way out there. I just couldn't help but worry. I was only trying to keep an eye on you. <sighs> what are you even doing on the battlefield? You endangered yourself and got hurt. Such a stupid thing to do. Yes, of course, you're right. I have no excuses. If you intend to carry on being such a fool, you'd best stay near me. Are you sure? I'd hate to get in your way again. You can... um... Hmm? You can keep thinking of me as your little brother. And that'd be better than going through this again. But I thought you didn't like that. Didn't you say you were fed up with it? I am fed up with it. I've already spent years filling in for someone who's dead. My older brother inspired love and respect. He was a great knight. He died. Since his death, his memory has followed me around like a shadow. Oh, I didn't know you had a brother too. <laughs> I don't let my personal feelings distract me on the battlefield. Still, do I really remind you of him? Well, you don't look like him. But something about you feels so familiar. It just makes me want to protect you. That's not to say that you're incapable or unreliable or anything like that. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You're the one who just came to check on me. You need to pay attention to your surroundings. You're reckless. Lives are at stake, including mine when I have to run over and save your skin. Yes, I'll try to be more careful. Thank you for being so kind, Felix. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Man doesn't know how to take it. Gets cold kind, scoff said. This'll be good. Felix, my goodness, I swear you're always training. Such a hard worker. So strong. Hello? Felix? What? You can hear me. That's good. I was worried maybe your ears didn't work. What do you want? Oh, nothing. Nothing in particular, I mean. But now that I'm here, and now that you've asked, when you've finished up, do you think you'd like to join me in the dining hall for something sweet? I'll pass. I don't like sweets. Also, you're a nuisance. Stay away from me. Felix, that's rude. I thought we were on the same side in this war. Anyway, you sound like you're shooing away a stray cat. Shh, shut up. I am not a stray cat, Felix, and I am not leaving until you take a moment to chat with me. Ah, <sighs> you are a pest. Fine, do what you will. Oh, you better believe I am going to keep doing exactly what I will. Hmm, maybe instead of a sweet treat, we can get something spicy. Would you like that? I've heard the dining hall is serving a dish with some western spices in it. Mmm. Does that sound good, Felix? Would you like something spicy instead of sweet? You're distracting me. 
She's trying so hard. When I am hungry, I will eat. Alone. Stop squawking at me. <laughs> well, since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you in peace. Goodbye, Felix. Finally. I feel we're this late in the game and we got a C. We've done it. Let's go. That one's flashing, but I cannot do it. Because he's fucking, he doesn't want to talk to anyone. Fair, fair enough. He won't talk to me, I doubt he's going to talk to her. Please come out of your room. You've been in there for ages. You need to train. Uh, no, sorry, not happening. I'm not playing around, Bernadetta. This training is absolutely crucial to the war. I don't care. I can't handle it today. Please leave. Why did you come here? Why did I come here? I didn't choose to join the academy. I was forced. Then more stuff happened, and I didn't have a say in any of it. So here I am, somehow. I suppose not everyone has to be pleased about being here. But even so, Bernadetta, I'll ask one more time. Please come out of there. And I'll tell you one more time. It's not happening. Not right now. Not today. You leave me no alternative. If you're near the door, you'd better step away. <laughs> My door! Why? Now hurry along, Bernadetta. You've got lots of training to catch up on. Spare me! I'll train! I'll train! Just... Not with you. Anyone but you, please. Is that so? That presents a problem. I know we are two very different people, but whether or not you like me, we are on the same side and must learn to work together. It's, it's not about any of that! If this is how you treat people on your own side, what do you do to your enemies? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. I did what was necessary to get you to comply. Nothing more. I do hope that the professor will be able to help you through the rest of your training. In the meantime, I will fix your door. Good luck! Um... Right. Okay. Good. I kind of wish she wouldn't fix the door and it was just permanently open now. That would entertain me. I'll do two complete opposites. Let's go. It's peaceful here. Flowers are so calming. Just looking at these, it's like all the terrible parts of the day just disappear. If only people could be more like flowers. <sighs> What's Burn doing? She looks like there's something wrong. All these nobles are just terrifying. And the commoners? Just look at Dorothea. So pretty, popular, dazzling. There's no way someone like me could ever be close with someone like that. Burn, are you okay? <laughs> Dorothea! Did you hear all that? Just the part about you wishing you could get along with someone. So, Burn, who have you got a crush on? Seriously, now, you have to tell me. Who are they? Do I know them? <sighs> I'm so excited for you, Burn! Um, no. I was actually thinking about being friends with you. Me? I thought we already were friends. That's not what I mean. Oh, I'm such a coward. I thought it would be great if we could be closer. But old memories just get in the way for me. Burn, whatever happened in the past, you know you have my full support. I'm here for you. I thought we'd already been friends for a long time now. Please, just forget it. We'll never be close friends. Father would just... He would just... <laughs> no! What is happening? Wait, I... Father? What did she mean by that? I know what she meant by that, but what is going on? Alright, one more. Flame and her not brother. Flame! My favorite. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, you worry too much, brother. 
I think a kidnapping is good cause for concern. I was so worried about you, I nearly fainted. Had that not happened, I would have never been allowed to join the professor's class. Even from something so dire, some good did come of it. That is a dangerous attitude. This world is full of peril. You must be more vigilant. Please understand, I allowed you to enroll here only because I thought it best for your safety. I am very much aware of that. You wanted to speak to me of something? Yes, my dear little sister. You are kind beyond all measure, and you are the very picture of innocence. But precisely because of these very fine qualities, I worry about your interactions with the others here. The youths of our army are particularly eccentric. As your brother, it is my duty to help you with any concerns you may have. I do appreciate the offer, but all the students and professors have treated me exceptionally well. Even so, there must be at least some worry. Please, you need not conceal anything from me. You worry far too much. There is truly nothing to share, and nothing for you to fret over. Are you absolutely sure? The idea of you suffering in silence is unbearable to me. Enough! I made it clear that nothing is wrong. I stand by my word. Well, there is one concern that comes to mind. What is it? Tell me. I will help however I can. It's you, there is Seth. There's a certain somebody who seems determined to get in the way of my friendships with my classmates. What? That's horrible. Fear not. I will handle this scoundrel for you. Just tell me his name. It is you, brother. Now then, I must be on my way. Called it. <laughs> it's a good reaction. What was Flame getting at just now? Let's see, I was speaking to her. I asked her to share her concerns, and was there something else? <laughs> no matter. Fear not, Flane. Your brother will protect you from all harm. Sedith, please. <laughs> My dude. I need you to chill. Yeah, they just skip straight from A to S. To deepen the spawn further, you'll have to wait until after the war ends. Oh, there's a period after the war? I thought the war was the rest of the game. Fair enough, but also what? And I have one with Dimitri, who also doesn't want to talk with me, so... Don't have to worry about that, I suppose. Alright, that's it. Done all the supports, we've done everything, we've used our points. We've, uh, done inventory? At least I believe enough inventory for nothing else to matter. We should look at changing everyone's weapons too at some point, but for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Hey! hey.